Taurus, welcome to your reading. My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Taurus, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot, and stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides using your animal spirit. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you right now. Wow, very magnetic energy. I do see here a little bit of resistance, a little bit of money blocks going on. And right now, this energy needs to get cleared. And right now, like in order to clear the energy, it's super simple. Remember, action from the path of least resistance is how you clear energy. Action from the path of least resistance. I'll give an example. Resistance is something that feels efforted. So for example, like, you ever have a conversation with someone and it feels like, oh my goodness, you're pulling, you know, you're just, you're just like looking at the clock. You're like, oh man, it's taking forever. That right there is efforted. But you ever have a conversation with someone and an hour goes by, but it felt like 10 minutes? Effortless. You ever do a task and all of a sudden it's completed? Effortless. So action from the path of least resistance is how you clear the money block. I'll give you an example right now. There was a time where I was, you know, I had different, you know, businesses. I had a renovation company, a dog grooming business, dog daycare, coffee shop, and they were great and all. They paid the bills, but I wasn't jumping for joy trying to do these things, right? It was very efforted. I woke up in the morning like, oh my goodness, I got to go to work, right? Now, one day, I asked my angels and guides for help. I was like, angels, show me the path to make passive income. Do something I love. Monetize a passion. Next thing you know, they brought day trading in my life because I love charts. I love analytics. It's effortless. They brought my YouTube channel because I love connecting with my angels and guides. And that's what's happening for you, the path of least resistance. That's the action. That's the inspired action that you will get. And that is how you will bring the abundance you're looking for into your life. And I do see here that when this energy is cleared, you can expect significant changes to happen for you financially. And this energy right here is really going to clear things up. And money on the path of inspiration is the way to go. Like money on the path of inspiration. Why? Because inspiration trumps motivation. You know, to be motivated all the time, you know, we're not always motivated to do something, right? But when you're inspired, when you match your emotions, to the expectation. When you tell yourself, wow, it's going to feel so good to do monetize my passion. Yes. Wake up in the morning like, I love making money, doing something I love. That right there is what you're looking for, right? It's motivation. So here, I'll show you how to clear this energy. Right now in the comment section, write this down. Write this affirmation down. Money is drawn to me. Command, expect, assume this energy. Quantum entangle with the energy of wealth. In the comment section, write down, write down. Write, write down right now. Money is drawn to me. Money is drawn to me, right? This is how you clear the energy. This is how you change the, 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 the really just use laws of thermodynamics and not do the same thing and get the same results. You're doing something new. You're getting out of your comfort zone, right? Following your passion. Money is drawn to me. Write that down in the comment section. Now, do you see here your love life, your work life, your home life, everything is entangled right now. And you're being told right now, your vortex holds the path of abundance, right? Your vortex holds the path of abundance. Your vortex is how you feel. This is so important. Now, sometimes when we think feel or vortex, it's hard to resonate with it. What that really means is I want you to start using visualizations for things in life. So when I say my vortex, what I envision is a shield around myself, a golden ball of light. And anytime that I'm happy, that golden ball of light gets brighter and more golden. And anytime it starts dimming, I'm like, uh oh, there must be fear, limiting beliefs, doubts, shadows, comparison, judgment, right? All the stuff the matrix has in store for us. Anytime I feel that my light is dimming, now I'm like, uh oh, gotta make that light bright again. How do you do so with your thoughts, right? So at that point, Everything I'm looking for, I understand that when the light dims, all I have to do is think of a happy thought. And in my case, I think of my wiener dog, right? She makes me laugh. I'm like, she is crazy. Light gets brighter again. So anytime you see your light dim, your vortex, understand that your prosperity depends on that, right? So really focus your awareness into that. Breathe life into it. Now you got the hangman and you got the four swords. So if you feel like you have to collect some data right now, you're being told to take some time for yourself. I remember like the flow of abundance is unlimited, so not to settle. And you're being told do not settle for your current position. Say if you're going to a job and that job, you know, pays the bills, but you know, the energy is hostile, do not settle. Or say if you're in a relationship and you know, 
you guys live together, but it doesn't feel romantic, do not settle. It doesn't mean quit or, or give up on the relationship, but it means audit that energy, right? Like have that conversation with your spouse and be like, we're better than this. I didn't sign up for this. Or really tell yourself that I am open to the invitation of creating wealth by being inspired. Let the universe know I'm not cool with this, right? Like, like I expect more. Expect it, assume it, command it. That's why I'm like, clear the energy. Money is drawn to me. Write that down. Do these things, right? Let the universe know you are ready to move on. Now you got the moon and you also have the eight of cups. So if you feel like you're drifting, you're, the only reason you feel like you're drifting is because you're not connecting to your higher self. And right now, remember, like you are joy looking for a way to express yourself. When this really, really resonates, you will easily be able to connect with your higher self. You're not your bills, your worries, your thoughts. You are literally joy. If you strip away all the influence and limiting belief and brainwashing, right? If you go back to your inner child, so imagine like a five-year-old girl, five-year-old boy. If you go up to them and say, what do you want to do today? What are they going to say? I want to have fun. That's the first thing they're going to say, right? So whenever you are tapping into your higher self and feeling joy, take a look at this card, that's how you feel. But whenever you feel fear, right, look at this card, that's how you feel. You don't need to do that, it's a choice. And right now you're being told, identify yourself with your higher self. You hold all the cards. This energy right here is gonna change. And right now I do see here with that money block, it was causing some sort of resistance. And remember like money flowing to you depends on the energy you flow onto others. So if you feel like you're having a hard time creating wealth, money flows to you depending on the energy you flow onto others. Life is like a tango dance, it's like salsa, right? It's like imagine being in a room with someone and telling them, wow, you're so pretty. And then they come up to you and they're like, you're so pretty. And you're like, whoa, I love your hair. And they're like, I love your smile. The energy accumulates, right? And that's the same thing. It's like, if you're waiting for wealth, understand it's like life's a boomerang. When you throw it out, it comes back the energy. So right now, if you're looking for wealth to enter your life, all you have to do is be kind to someone. Hold the door open for them. Give them a compliment. Or, you know, lend them your ear, your experience, your wisdom. Or even lend them their shoulder to cry on. But when you do any of these things, now the energy you flowed on to others comes back. And in your case, wealth comes back, right? So if you're waiting to change your life, understand the universe is just waiting for you to lend your experience, lend your energy out. That's why any chance I get, I give people compliments. I'll be in the grocery store waiting to pay my bills. I'll look over and I'll see their cart. They got ranch in there. And at that point, I'll be like, hey, I love ranch, even if I don't love ranch. I'm like, ranch is the best. You love it? Why do you love it? How long have you loved it? It tastes so good. Is that brand good? Oh my goodness. I will just talk to them and I'll see them from you know going in line, nervous to pay their bills. All of a sudden, ranch is the best. I love ranch. I'll raise their vibration. I'll send them on their way, right? It's almost like when you meet the puppy and you just like, you know, just touch it up. You just make it feel good. Oh, you're a good boy. You're a good girl. I love you. Let me pet your little eyes, right? And they squint, right? If you ever want to get to a dog, all you have to do is put your hands right here in between their eyes and they just submit. They're like, you're my master, right? Same thing here. Compliment people. Go to your coworker, be like, whoa, that dress is looking good on you. Well done. My goodness, what are you doing, right? Give that out because not only are you helping them, but guess what? That karma, you are banking karma, guys. You know, Tesla said it best. Nicholas Tesla, one of the most brilliant minds in the world. He goes, don't think in terms of stuff you can see. Think in terms of energy. That is power. This is real stuff. So right now, banking that good karma. <laughs> guess who's getting that promotion at work? Guess who just cleared the money energy? Just Guess who's finding their soulmate? It is going to be you, Taurus. All right, Taurus, now I'm gonna pull your animal spirit and get a final message from your spirit guides. And let's see what your animal spirit is right now. Yeah. First card. Ooh, one of my faves. Why? Because I love me a good elephant. Elephant spirit, look at the message learned from the past. And you're being told right now, anything that happened in the past was only for you to collect data. There's a lesson in there, learn from it. That's it. Then and only then will you be able to move on. So something happened. You dated someone, it didn't work out. Okay, what was the lesson there? Well, you know, I realized that, you know, Maybe I shouldn't settle, when there's smoke, there's fire. Whatever the lesson was, right? It wasn't a waste of time. Same thing with business. You start a business, it didn't work. Great, what was the lesson? Mm, high overhead, whatever the case is. Learn from the past. The past is not there for you to bury the shadow. The ego buries that shadow. Oh, I dated someone, I can't even think of them, put it away. That shadow that's there, oh my goodness, you don't want that there. You want that out of you, right? And, you, and it leaves you when you tell yourself, what was the lesson? All of a sudden you're like, 
Ah, well, the lesson was this. Now it's like you just sat there for two hours of therapy. It's done. You can move on. And that is how you really move on to the present moment, which leads to a vision and a story of the future. All right, Taurus, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.